to the channel and i hope you guys doing absolutely fine i saw most of you guys are facing the issue on the task number two so in this video i'm going to guide you through how to fix that issue along with that i know most of you guys might face an issue while logging with this particular credential source here so when have what happened when you try to open this particular link in incognito window you might get an error like your account is blocked at that time just may restart your lab and in that way you can just may fix that issue once you log in with your credentials what you do just may click on this hamburger over here click on this this uh, directory over here and then just may click on this organizational units over here here we have to create three units for that come back to the task number one this is a very easy task copy this first name okay make sure that while copying a name do not copy any extra space okay now just may click on this create paste the name and then click on this create button now just may scroll down copy the second name click on this create again paste the name and click on this create button again now copy this last name again click on this create paste the name and then just may click on this create button again so we are done with all these three organizational unit now what you do we have to create three users over here so for that just may come back over here scroll down a little bit and from here you can see this name so just may copy this first name over here come back click on this users over here click on this add new users over here and sometime you are not able to get this kind of interface at that time also you just have to restart your lab otherwise you can just replace the name you will get all the options as mentioned over here the interface will be little bit different okay now just replace the first name then copy this particular name as a last name paste over here now for the email address copy this name do not copy the last full stop just make sure of that thing now just me paste the name over here it's an email address okay now just me click on this down arrow and for this organizational unit click on this pencil icon okay now from here what you do just me scroll down and from here you can see this marketing so just me choose this option and click on this done so we are done with the one user okay make sure that for the password it should be automatically generated this option must be selected already okay now click on this add new user now we have to repeat all the same step for these two users over here you can see so just me copy this first name just me click on this add another user paste the first name then copy this last name and paste over here then copy this email address over here like this way and paste over here then click over here then just me copy this compliances just otherwise you can just select over here compliances and click on this done so that's it just simply click on this add another user then copy this and click over here add another user paste a name then copy this last name and then copy this email address over here like this way and then copy this a contractor or you can just click over here and from here you can just select that so it's done now just scroll down and click on this add another user just wait and this time just me click on this done so we are done with all this part now if you just may come back over here and click on the check my progress for this particular task you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated immediately don't worry you just may wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score over here for sure and if you just may cross verify that you have done all the step correctly or not what you can do you can just may click on any of the organizational unit and just may check the name mentioned over there so let's suppose if i just may click on this compliances over here so if i just may click over here and from here you can just cross verify the name just me wait so you can see this name and this name is select so in that way you can just cross verify and you can see i got a green tick now i know most of you guys are facing the issue on the task number two so let me just show you that issue first so what you do we have to just come to this app folder click on this over here and from here you can see this gmail over here so here what you do we have to just click on this service status over here now you can see we are not able to click over here now you can resolve this issue by two ways just me open this tab in new tab like this way and here you will get one verify button if you are not able to get this verify button over here you can just come back over here click on this google workspace over here and if you just me check over here you can see this verify button and if you just me check over here and i am not able to get three dots over here okay now just me click on this verify button over here you can just me click on that verify or here as well steps are same click on this get started over here continue scroll down click on the checkbox confirm okay now just me wait 
then click on this activate gmail continue and proceed with activation and click on this checkbox and confirm now this page will remain as it is now just me come back over here and refresh the page okay now if you just me check over here you can see now we are able to get this three lines over here so what you do basically just me click on the gmail over here this is for the task number two you can see this down arrow just me click over here now what you do we have to just me turn off this gmail for contractor only if we just me come back over here and from here you can see for the contractor we have to just me turn it off so just me choose this contractor over here make sure that you have to just me select the contractor first then click over here let me just me select that you can see it's loaded and you can see it's bold now just me choose off and override and it's done okay so we have done with the task number two also if you just may come back and click on this check my progress you will get a score for sure sometime it might take time so don't worry about that now we will perform the task number three or last task so just may come back over here click on this google fault over here here first of all we have to just may turn off this status for everyone so just may click over here turn off for everyone and click on the save now what you do we have to just me turn on this status for only one person okay so if we just me scroll over here for the compliances we have to just me turn it on so just me select that like this way if we just me click over here you can see it's bold now now just me click on this on and then click on this override that's it just me click on this turn it on wait for a second and it's done now if you just may come back over here and click on the check my progress for both the tasks you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated immediately don't worry it just will wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score over here for sure so just may wait and watch and as you can see i got a green tick now just may wait and i got a score as well and in this way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section and i hope you guys like the way i explain this lab thanks for watching and have a good day guys